Many of the projects on my site use wood from untreated shipping pallets. Sometimes the planks aren't wide enough for the job to hand. To this end, I bought a set of tongue and groove cutters for my router. So I'm going to unpack them, put them in the router and see how they cut. So this is how it was sent to me. Nicely packaged in a bubble wrap packaging. This is the tong cutter. It's, <laughs> it's pretty big. Um, these are on a, an 8mm shank. Wow. That's pretty impressive. A bit of a beast as well. It's quite heavy. Just go and unpack the groove cutter. A bit difficult to get out of its little box. Well and truly wedged in, but uh, there we are. There's our groove cutter. Wow, nice. Yeah, one criticism of this already is that I would have liked to have seen the shank length for the groove cutter to be the same as the shank length for the tong cutter so that when either cutter is in the collet of the router then for the router setting the cutters should coincide. Maybe I'm wrong but we'll just see. Right, so I've got the tong cutter mounted now and I'm going to cut my very first tong joint. Let's see how it goes. So now it's the turn of the groove cutter. So now we come to the acid test. Do they fit? And now they've got one nice big panel. So the only problem I've got is my router is a plunging router and so I have to make sure that it's absolutely locked up really firmly against the stops so that it prevents the router dropping and hence making the cutters misaligned. But besides that, the cutters work perfectly, beautifully sharp, and uh, I can work with that. 